Welcome to this module, Controlling Page Layouts. This is part of the Developer Persona Collection, and we're in Library DXP 7.3. Some key module takeaways. You want to understand page layouts and how to use them, and create custom layouts using NPM tools. We have some exercise prerequisites if you are looking to follow along with us. Make sure you have the Java JDK installed to run Library DXP. You can download that here from this Oracle link. Make sure you have a running instance of Library DXP or CE 7.3. And your unzip module exercise file should be in the following folder structure. If you're on Windows, make sure you're in C slash If you're on Unix systems, be in user home slash Liferay. Want to keep those paths nice and short. We have our three teams that we should be keeping in mind for our Livingston Hotels and Resorts use case. We have the web team responsible for implementing branding and functionality to provide the ideal user experience for customers and employees. There's the design team responsible for producing mockups for web developers. And then we have the web developers responsible for implementing those mockups and they're expecting to use technologies they're familiar with like NPM, Yeoman, and React. For our KPIs, we want to increase user engagement with front end design and decrease site building and content creation time. Let's get started with layout templates. So layout templates allow you to set the rows and columns of a page and determine where content can be placed. This allows us to determine the structure for a given page. And as you can see here, the red outlines show the designated spacing that our layout has defined. And we'll take a better look at how they break down into smaller columns and rows. Commonly, we will be using the bootstrap grid for Liferay. This is made up of 12 sections and is a fluid grid system, which means these sections can be divided and combined as needed. Because the sections are part of Bootstrap's grid system, users don't need to specify percentages or pixel widths, and the layouts are responsive by default. If I shrink down my browser window, everything is going to adjust accordingly. As you can see here in the graphic, a user is currently saying that they would like two columns for the second row, and then that user is currently being prompted to determine the width of that first cell. And it looks like the user has chosen four out of 12 units, which will be a third of the page width, no matter how we resize. So as we've just seen, we define the way our page looks by using columns and rows. So with the theme generator tool, users choose to specify the width and the number of columns in a row, add rows, insert rows in between existing rows, remove rows, and finish and save the layout. All while you're doing this, the generator will display a visual representation of the layout. So over here on the right, you can see the top cell takes up 12 of 12 units. So it stretches the whole width. Then we have three sections that are four, four and eight, 12 and we can easily see what all of our sections are going to look like in relation to one another. We also have the options to create layout templates manually. So templates can be created manually by defining the column containers in an FLT file like so. A little less user friendly, but this is the way we would go about and do it. As you can see in our code here, we're still breaking up the page into a series of columns. We also have the ability to embed widgets into our layout templates. If the application or widget does not have a Java class that extends base portlet provider, developers can use the theme runtime function. Otherwise, an application can be embedded using the processor, process portlet, class name action function. Here's all the code that's required to embed a login portlet. And as you can see on the fourth line, we have that theme.runtime function. All right, time for a knowledge check. Layout templates allow you to set the rows and columns of a page and determine where content can be placed. Lifery provides multiple default page layout templates out of the box, and layouts can have any of number of rows with 12 columns. Columns in a layout use Bootstrap's grid system to determine screen and column size, and layout templates can be created with the Lifery theme generator or manually. Layout templates can have widgets embedded in them.